Hello, I hope everyone is well and healthy. I made this quick video to show you how to use Zoom, Logic and uh, also GarageBand. In this case, I use GarageBand uh, to send interactive recordings and to receive files uh, easily. So first of all, I would recommend you to update your Zoom. Uh, so it's very easy. You go here and you click check for updates. And after that, you can have this file transfer function. It is very convenient and easy. Also, you have more uh, security as well. This is my first recommendation. To start with, uh, I'll start with a jazz ensemble first. For example, uh, we're gonna we did a recording of Armando's room, but I'll show you the process quickly. Uh, what you can do is, if you need a backing track, you can either use iReal Pro or you can use uh, a website. You can write it on Google, basically. For example, Armando Roomba MIDI. And so I found this website. And here I downloaded this, I downloaded this file, Armando Roomba here. The MIDI file. And uh, when you receive that MIDI file, it should go to your downloads, basically. So what you can do is very simple. You can just drag the file, hold and drop it. Uh, so for example, with our students, uh, we decided 230 BPM. So you can import the tempo of the recording, but I say no. So, all right. Now we have this file, as you see, drums, guitars, pianos, and even saxophone. So you can just double check it. You can also have the click. So if you have the click, you can also hear the click sound as well. All right, so this is the form. By the way, if you're familiar with the form or if you have any specific arrangements, you can basically edit the form. And I can show you that quickly. For example, we're playing this tune like a uh, head and two solos, then we have a short head out. So it should be around here. Alright, so the head out will be here for example. To do the quick edit, what you can do is so you can hi highlight all of these uh, tracks or stems and to, when you find the spot to edit, for example, in this case, this is the middle, you highlight it and you just do Command T. So in this way, you can edit the track. So you can cut it and you can shorten it, basically. You can cut the rest of it. And let's say, in our case, we go back to Head Out. Okay, so for example, we go back all the way here as head out. So what I can do is I can just uh, move, highlight these and move it like this. All right, so after that, uh, we had an ending. Uh, so we have a drum solo over this. So what I do is, for example, da -da -da -bum -bum -bum, I edit this part, Command T, and uh, we are looping this basically. So to make a loop, it's easy. You, you see this difference. So if you go click and this part, you can extend this and make this loop like this. As you see, like this is eight times of the loop. So this is a quick edit, uh, just I want to show you how to cut with Command T, it's, but you need to highlight it first, and it's quite helpful. Uh, if you want to send this to your students, some students, I mean 90% of our students, they use Logic Pro and uh, GarageBand, and some of them, they don't use anything. Uh, there are two ways to do this. What you can do is if you want to send let's say a drumless track to your students, you can click here and mute the drums. If you want to send a piano without piano, you can mute the pianos like this and you can see the instruments and the names. So for example, in this case, I'll just do a demonstration without drums. You 
as you see it the color is gray now you click on share then you click on export song to disk so here you can also write the name like no drums and I would recommend you to do mp3 it's the fastest way and also it, uh, the highest quality is 256 kilobits and you can export the file so it might take some time with bouncing uh, so this is a way to bounce the files I'll also show you the other option uh, students with logic and also GarageBand they can also use the MIDI files of this project to record their parts and it's quite convenient for them so I can show you how to do that as well so to get that I would recommend you to make a shortcut like your under your favorites your GarageBand folder so you can have all of your projects here if you have logic it's a similar approach uh, for example this is the file that we received Armando Rumba no drums so this MIDI file, I can share this with my students like this. I can drag it and drop it to Zoom and they can receive the file. So this is just a way and the other way is, let's say in this case we have our Armonus Roomba test file. So if I want to send them just this uh, MIDI backing track so they can also edit, they can mute the tracks so they can do whatever they want basically on Logic and GarageBand. So what you need to do is you need to just compress the file to send it. So in this case, I go compress Armando's Roomba test. All right, now I have this zip file and I can also send this to Zoom and they can receive the file. So this is a this is two ways. Like you can do it with a uh, click. Also to keep the click, you need to leave this uh, highlighted in purple color then you, they can hear the click. In this case, the drummer can hear the click. So, this is a way. So, now, after the recording, so they'll send you their stems, like you see in this example. We have trumpet, drums, alto sax, bass, piano, stems. So now, this is quite easy to actually do. So now, we have these MIDI files. What you need to do is, so I'll start with so let's say this is the drum part. You just basically hold and uh, transfer it to your GarageBand project. You can do the same thing on your Logic. So I transferred the drums. Now I transfer the trumpet part. Then I transfer alto sax part. I transfer bass part. For sure, these recording processes will take more time. All right, we transferred all of the files, as you see. So to listen them, you can mute the MIDI channels like this. And now we can listen the parts. So this is a way to do this. You can also check the form, everything matches as you see. So like the solos and everything. So this is a quick way to do it. And also uh, if you want to bounce the MP3 of full uh, band, you can go to share again and export song to disk and make, it MP make an MP3 file. So this is an easy way to do this, if you, but you need to update the Zoom to do this. So now uh, let's do another example. Let's say maybe you don't have a backing track or a MIDI, maybe there is no uh, recording. So this is another approach that you can do. So I'll create another project. All right, in this example, uh, now we'll, we'll have no background tracks or no karaoke tracks or no MIDI background to uh, play or transfer. So what I prefer in this case, uh, I asked my uh, guitar or piano player students to send me uh, the guitar or piano track first because most of the tunes they have uh, harmonic uh, movements and the forms on guitar and piano parts. And in this case, on this song, it's a very guitar-driven song. So first I put the guitar part. 
as you see, you can transfer it from Zoom. And now uh, we decided on this tune, we decided the tempo as 125 BPM. And first guitar player sent us the guitar track. So after that, uh, our bass player performed and recorded his part. So after this, so I also asked to our drummer to overdub her part. And our singer, uh, she didn't have anything to record actually, no professional sound interfaces or anything. Basically, uh, I bounced these three tracks a bit like this, export song to disc, and I sent her to overdub with her iPhone. And she sent us her iPhone recording. And now, as you see, I mean, after all of the production process, now we have these four stems. Everyone else has left now I thought that this got too stressed out Wondering what you're putting me up now I it's getting late now, baby So this is a way that you can do it. Also, uh, you can do a little mix. Like I say, if guitars are too loud, you can control this. If bass is too loud, you can use these to mix. And these are little mixing tools, and this thing is for uh, panning. You can do left and right panning, so it's quite helpful. And uh, also, there are some uh, like preset EQs here. Let's say for vocals, you can use voice and go to female voice zero one. So you can have a preset vocal EQ for drums. You may have like hi-fi drums, you can do this, these kind of stuff. Also if you wish you can add like, effects, reverb, ambience, compressor and stuff like that. So yeah, that's it. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you so much and have a wonderful semester.